Welcome back everybody to another video. In this video, we are going to cover crossover frequencies for your speakers and subwoofers. And we're going to try to understand what it really means so that way you can optimize your home theater. Also, I want to address some Dolby Atmos uh, enabled speakers and how to uh, set it on your AVR. So let's start off with that first. Now let's go there so if you're running if you are running doubly enable speakers so let's say you're running your doubly enable speakers and you're up firing it from this position here to bounce off your ceiling and now you decided you want to run it to the top high in the top there and down firing it you got to make sure you change it to front height now depending on your AVR you might not have this visual aid here so you might leave it on doubly enabled speakers when you're having it on the height up top there but I just want to clarify that if you do move it from up firing it to up high there you got to change it to front height and of course, if you're doing overhead in ceiling speakers, you, you want to put it on the overhead settings. So now that that's out of the way, because I didn't see that anywhere, uh, and I was, wasn't was sure <laughs> how to do it because on my R cams, it doesn't have this visual aid here with the speakers. So I wasn't sure what to do, but now I know 100% with this Yamaha uh, so, uh, UI here, um, it clarify what I have to set it. So that's out of the way. Let's understand crossover frequencies for your speakers and your subwoofer because I was watching some random videos on YouTube and even though I understood it, uh, not, not the videos, but even though I understood how crossover works, the cutoff, the roll off and all that from way back when because I'm a home theater enthusiast I was confused by a lot of people with a lot of videos I was watching they all just confused me so I figured you know I'm gonna make this quick video here to so for those who are not sure okay it is very com it is very complex all right but then for this video we we're, we're gonna assume we're gonna run our configuration every single speaker we're going to run it on small okay and the standard is 80 hertz now that doesn't mean that is going to be the best frequency response for your home you're going to have to play around with it but if you but when you understand the crossover frequency then you're going to know how to optimize your setup so ideally if you're running let's say you're running 90 hertz anything that is below 90 hertz is going to be rerouted to your subwoofer so when the frequency re response come for the center channel here at 90 hertz and anything below that your subwoofer is gonna kick in right that is what the cu crossover cut means right anything, anything below anything below that number your subwoofer will take care of it so that is why when you run like satellite speakers or doubly enabled speakers that are super small you want to run that in a higher frequency Hertz so that way you're pretty much guaranteed to get a deeper tone, a deeper bass out of that uh, speaker when it hits. And ideally, when you run your bass management, your your LFE, your your pretty much your bass management here, you you want your speakers to sound like the thump is coming from that particular speaker. 
And if it sounds like it's it's kind of like you don't, if it just feels like it's just your subwoofer is everywhere, then that is when you want to play around with your hertz and set it to where you would like. When I ran this Yamaha in this living room from Adobe Atmos, I was running everything pretty much this setup you see here. Actually, my uh, Adobe Atmos height speakers, I was running at 100 hertz technically, but I was pretty much having it at this setup here. But now currently in my living room with a different AVR, I'm pretty much running all my crossovers at 70 hertz. And for my Dobly enabled speakers, which I am down firing in it, so that's front front presence, that I'm running at 120 hertz for the crossover cut, so it can roll off. So before I wrap it up, let me reiterate. Pretty much for your frequency, your hertz. So for instance, if you're running 80 hertz here for these surrounds I'm, I'm showing here if it's below that number your subwoofer is going to handle it and one more thing before I go here for this Yamaha if you're running a Yamaha and you're wondering why can't you change the, the hertz on the AVR it's because it's not necessary for the Yamaha you just you will just manually uh, change your hertz on your power subwoofer roughly uh if you don't know how to set it i would set it roughly from 80 to 120 uh, manually and if your avr has the option to change then go ahead and correspond on your avr what you're doing what you're running on your power subwoofers and also if you're a yamaha user and you want to run your subwoofer and your main channels your your like so let for instance i might make another video for this but quickly if you want to run large on your 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 speakers and you also want to have the subwoofer hit what you're going to do in order to do that you have the hit options and go to your subwoofer here and you want to turn this extra extra base on what that will allow you to do is not only will you have your your base coming from your large speakers it'll also come not only will it come from your subwoofer it will also come from your large speakers so that is where you find it if for those who don't know where it is uh, I might maybe make another separate video for that for running stuff on large for large speakers uh, depending of if anyone asks me to do that then maybe I will but that is pretty much we'll wrap it up for this video and um, thanks a lot for tuning in I'll catch you guys on the next one hood it dragons out